A lot better than being at work or being at school. Yeah, tired of school, tired of work. Now I that you got here. your college classes done for the summer. I? Little treat, yeah. getting to go fish? Yes. Yeah? I think something I was really excited about was not having to pack my computer. Have yeah. Not being attached to that for a little while? Yes. Or just kind of throw like where the tree's out of the water? Mm hmm that first three or four feet where that green leaf is. Mm -hmm. Try to throw right there and then bring it back this way and just let it sit. A little farther. Leader hung up. Oh, I probably just got hung up. No. That's good TV, you just got both of them hung up at the same time. <laughs> oh, first catch. Pretty good size small bout right here. Pretty crush it. Catch you again later. All right, your turn. You just don't die. This place is very special to me. Uh, um, my great grandpa bought it early '60s, and I uh, had the privilege of growing up here. So, and then now sharing it with my daughter, uh, fourth generation. Uh, it's just really special. And this is my grandparents' land. My dad's, you know, where he grew up. It's very special coming out here. It's just another home that feels even more like home. Oh! <laughs> there you go. There you go. Tighten your drag up just a little bit. Come on. Alright. Alright, now you gotta help me with the hook. <laughs> why is that? I don't. Ah. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I don't wanna hook myself. Hit okay. it right away? Yeah. Yeah. Before it even got to the bottom? Um, I think it just got about near, I thought I hit a limb first. So I jerked it to try and keep it off the limb and then it kept fighting back. There you like, go. That's not a limb, uh, that's a piece. That's a good one, get your picture. There you go. Hey Dan. Awesome. Oh yeah, you know you can kiss your own fish. <laughs> there you go. Good job babe. Thank you, got it. All right. yeah. My dad's version of fishing was catching, uh, usually like catfish and stuff, and watching a bobber was painful to me. So uh, th that type of fishing didn't really appeal to me. Uh, up until I was out of college, all I had was my you know, Snoopy pole from when I was a kid. I caught my first bass on top water and it was downhill from there. <laughs> Next thing you know, I got a corner of the garage look like Bass Pro. You caught a fish, I caught a tree. My first memory of fishing isn't necessarily my memory. It's something that I've been told happened. We were at a wedding and I was about, I believe, three or four. Of course, I'm a kid at a wedding who doesn't really care I'm at a wedding. I was bored. So dad actually snuck off with me to take me to a little pond nearby and we went fishing there. So there's a photo of me it's in a little blue sundress holding fishing pole. And even though I don't necessarily remember that myself, it's very special. Uh, it's, it's fun picking out new lures and talking about lures. And uh, when she was little, we would do trades. She would take uh, the lures that I'd already given her, we'd trade out. You know, I'd set out my extra ones and we'd trade out, so that was always fun. Oh, I always freak out. Especially, especially because I'm not someone who fishes very regularly. So when I do, it's like a new experience all over again, no matter where we're at. And I always think, you know, oh, I, I won't freak out that much when a fish bites. 
I freak out. I definitely freak out. I'm always excited. I'm always yelling, Dad, Dad, come over. I got a fish on the line. And every time he'll run over. And as many years as I've been fishing, I still do not like taking the hook out of the fish's mouth. I'm always afraid that it'll flinch and I'll stick myself. So it's those things that are just very special every time I go fishing with him. Have you ever seen a flying fish before? Whee! One more cast. I would definitely say I myself am a daddy's girl when it comes to just wanting to hang out with him and enjoying going out. I don't plan on giving up fishing anytime soon. I don't think I'll ever be as much of a master at fishing that he is. Even if I am good at fishing, I'll still call him and say, oh, but how do I do this? Help, help explain to me again how to tie a lure on. Like, I think that's something I'll always want to do, even if it's not necessarily something I'd have to do. <laughs> Did you? Oh. <laughs> you come over and fish my spot. <laughs> One cast. I gave you like, uh oh. Oh, that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad. Redemption. <laughs> Chaos. 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 <laughs> Let's go ahead and go find a shady I'm, spot. I'm ready for lunch. Ready for lunch? Don't fall in. Actually, no promises. All right. Thank you Step. for taking me out here. Uh, love you, babe. Love you. Enjoy this time. Me too. Ready? Let's go. Trying to grab every moment, make every memory that I can. And there's one song, uh, she thinks we're just fishing, you know. That's a great time to just get away from everything, the phone and everything, and just, just, uh, just be one-on-one -on -one and listen. Sometimes things that might slip by get brought up when you're out there slowing down a little bit. <laughs> 